Hello guys, let's talk about solution concentration. As you can see, there are several different ways or units how we can express how much solute do we have in a solution. In this video, we are going to concentrate on mass percentage, parts per million, and parts per billion. So all these units relate the mass of a solute to the total mass of the solution. So in all three cases, we are going to take the mass of component in the solution and divide that by the total mass of the solution. Now, the difference is that in case of mass percentage, because percent is out of 100, we will multiply by 100. In case of PPM or parts per million, we are going to multiply by 10 to the sixth because it's per million. And in case of PPB, which is parts per billion, we are going to multiply by 10 to the ninth because it is billion. And if the density of the solution is one gram over one milliliter, then one parts per million will give us one milligram solute per liter of solution. And if the density is again one gram per milliliter, then one PPB is going to give us one microgram solute per liter of solution. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Let's do a sample question. A saline solution is prepared by dissolving 81.5 grams of sodium chloride in 725 grams of water. The density of the resulting solution is 1.0707 grams per milliliter. What is the concentration of sodium chloride in mass percent? Well, here we have the formula on calculating the mass percent of sodium chloride or any component in a solution. First question, why do we have the density given? Do we need this? No, actually, we do not need this in this calculation. So it's just some extra information. Hopefully, you don't get confused by that, OK? So let's calculate the mass percent of NaCl in this solution. So we first need the mass of component. And we know that we had 81. 0.5 grams of NaCl, and then we have to divide it by the total mass of solution, which is going to be given by the sum of the mass of water plus NaCl. So NaCl is 81.5 grams plus 725 grams of H2O multiplied by 100. Okay, so the grams will cancel out and our final unit is going to be percentage. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 10.1%. So this also means that if you have 100 grams of solution, the saline solution, out of that 10.1 grams is going to be sodium chloride. All right, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.